We're here this morning on May the 16th uh, to initiate the installation of the Swab Lab Net Zero Energy prototype. And uh, we're here at Detroit Public Schools, Samson Weber Leadership Academy, uh, putting in uh, the garden beds, the learning garden, which includes a rain garden, right where I'm standing. Uh, and as you can see on this drawing, a uh, portion of the prototype is gonna be installed. We had to start with the learning gardens today because this is planting season. It's gonna collect solar energy, it's gonna collect rainwater, convey it to a distribution system, which will both water the gardens and also provide power to the school. This is the first phase of a much bigger installation. My third graders and I are collabor collaborating with Miss Hoyer to compost. My third grade students are making compost out of fruits, vegetables, and cardboard to use in Miss Hoyer's garden bed. Miss Clay's third grade, which has now become my fourth graders, are continuing on with the same program with Lawrence Tech where we are preparing these beds thanks to Detroit Public's uh, Garden Collaborative. We have grown plants. We have six beds prepared. Three out of six of the beds are going to be for the student body. The other three are going to be for the salad, the stop and go light salad, which will be presented right in our own cafeteria for the kids to eat. So this is a wonderful hands-on collaborative program with Lawrence Tech, Detroit Public, the Garden Collaborative, and Ford Motor Company. It's a thrill, and we want the kids hands-on with this, so they take responsibility for this. This will be growing all summer long. The community is invited to partake in it. What, uh, the, the plan here is to get the, this garden area set up, and then uh, very soon on, we'll be installing our photovoltaic system to help provide some power to the to the school facility here, and uh, that's just uh, just a few weeks away, hopefully. So we're moving ahead on that as well. So our big part of the project here, what we're working on today, is a rain garden. Uh, native plants were transplanted from Lawrence Technological University. We have a whole bunch of rain gardens on campus, and they've been around for long enough. We're able to split the plants and move them. Uh, and then once we get the rainwater harvesting system built, the 250-gallon cistern, that will water the garden beds that are behind us, and then the overflow will take care of the, the rain gardens. The next phase of our construction and installation will be the actual uh, mast with the solar array, which is also going to collect rainwater, and the cistern at the base, which will then actually irrigate these garden beds that you see behind me, and also a rain garden off to the side here. It's May, and we're getting everything ready right here at our garden. As you can see behind me, is an uh, activity that the fourth grade is doing. We're preparing our garden. Currently, we have 60 different things growing in this garden. So we're putting up signs to show the importance of what this garden is all about. This isn't just for us. This is for all of us. And we're asking that any community that live in the area to come join us this summer, not only to help weed, but to harvest. You help out, you take home some of your own fruits and vegetables. This is an awesome oppor opportunity. Thank you.